Sheriff Dan Staten of Multnomah County, whose office has been leading this search, and Sheriff Tim Evinger of Klamath County. Good to have both of you with us, gentlemen. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Erica. As we mentioned, one week now since little Kyron disappeared, and I understand that today you are really ramping up efforts in this search. What is it one week later that now has you putting on an extra push? The extra push this, that we're moving into, Erica, is just a standard process that we use in our search and rescue efforts. We put 532 people on the ground from ground zero working outward during the first phases of this to cover every inch of terrain in this area. We also employed our canine and our air support in this process. This is the next phase. We are going to be expanding that operation even further out. We've also employed it to date. We've covered every home in this specific area. And we've interviewed and spoken with families and children that go to the school here. And the community outlay and the support that we've had from the agencies, the FBI, all of our county agencies throughout the state and the state of California and Washington are here supporting us in this effort. There is an incredible support effort there. Um, there are still so many questions, though, about what may have happened. Do you believe that little Kyron simply wandered off, or do you believe he may have been abducted? We can't, we cannot put a, put specifics on this. We have to look at every possibility. We are treating this as an endangered missing child. We're gonna put every effort into this operation. And is, is there any concern because this is an endangered missing child that the window may be closing to find Kyron safe and alive, hopefully? The longer we go in this operation, the greater dangers and risks there are to the child, and this is why this effort is continuing at the level it is currently. Well, we will continue to follow it. Uh, Sheriff Stan Staten and Tim Evinger, thank you for your time this morning. Okay. Thank and you. if you at home may have information about Kyron Horman, you can call the tip line of the Multnomah County Sheriff's Department. That number, as you see on your screen, 503-261-2847. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.